Hey everyone, prepare yourself. It's time for a geek glitch. We're diving headfirst into a topic that's been debated since the dawn of comic books, or at least since fanboys discovered the internet, Marvel vs. DC. Today we're not just talking about which universe is cooler though, let's be honest, it's Marvel. But who would win in a knockdown, drag out superhero brawl? We're talking epic matchups that would make even Thanos pee his little purple pants. We're talking speedsters, super soldiers, and dudes who can literally punch you into next week. So buckle up, Buttercup, because this is about to get real. Oh, and before we start, let's just acknowledge that this is all in good fun, okay? It's all subjective, except for the part where Deadpool wins. That's just science. All right, round one, we've got Quicksilver, Marvel's resident speedster, going up against the Scarlet Speedster himself, The Flash. Now both of these guys can move faster than a sugar-crazed toddler on a hot summer day. We're talking mock speed, folks. Quicksilver can do some pretty impressive stuff, like running on water and punching people a gazillion times before they even blink. But let's be real, he's got nothing on The Flash. I mean, this is a guy who can literally outrun death. The Flash can vibrate through objects, travel through time, and even create sonic booms just by snapping his fingers. Plus, have you seen his rogues gallery, Captain Boomerang? Seriously? Look, I admire Quicksilver's commitment to running really, really fast, but he's outmatched here. The Flash is like the Usain Bolt of the superhero world. Sorry, Quicksilver, better luck next time, but hey, at least you're not getting chased by a giant boomerang. Next up, we have a battle between two iconic leaders in comics, Captain America and Green Lantern, the Emerald Knight of Willpower. Captain America is a super soldier with a shield that can deflect almost anything. Green Lantern's ring can create anything he imagines. Need a giant boxing glove? No problem. This fight could go either way, but I'm giving the edge to Green Lantern. He can fly, shoot lasers, and create force fields. But if Cap gets Mjolnir, it's a whole new ball game. Oh boy, oh boy, here we go. It's the Merc with a mouth versus the Terminator. Wait, wrong franchise. It's Deadpool versus Deathstroke, the battle of the regenerating mercenaries. Now I know what you're thinking. Ryan, isn't this a little biased? You are Deadpool after all. And to that I say, shut your face. This is my script and I'll do what I want. But in all seriousness, this is a matchup for the ages. Both Deadpool and Deathstroke are highly skilled assassins with healing factors that make Wolverine look like a whiny little baby. They're both masters of weaponry, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and breaking the fourth wall. However, there's one key difference. Deadpool's insanity is a weapon in itself. He's unpredictable, fearless, and quite frankly, a little bit crazy. He's not afraid to die, which makes him very difficult to kill. Plus, he's got those sweet, sweet chimichangas. Deathstroke, while a formidable opponent, is ultimately a straight man to Deadpool's wacky antics. He just can't compete with the sheer randomness and unpredictability. Sorry, Slade, but you're going down. Chapter 4. Black Widow vs. Black Canary. Birds of prey, but only one flies away. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. In this corner, we have Black Widow, the lethal Russian spy. And in the other corner, Black Canary, the sonic siren with a scream that can shatter mountains. Black Widow is a force to be reckoned with. She's an expert martial artist and a master of espionage. But Black Canary's canary cry is a sonic weapon of mass destruction. One good scream, and Black Widow's going down for the count. Chapter 5. Ant-Man vs. the Atom Size Matters, especially when you control insects. Get ready to shrink down to size because it's Ant-Man vs. the Atom, the battle of the miniature marvels. These two heroes can shrink down to subatomic size, but only one of them can command an army of insects. The Atom, while incredibly intelligent and capable of shrinking to incredibly small sizes, is ultimately just a dude in a suit. He's got some cool gadgets, but he's still just one guy. Ant-Man, on the other hand, has the power to talk to ants, and not just talk to them, but command them. Imagine an army of millions of ants all working together to take down a common enemy. That's right, folks, Ant-Man is basically a Disney princess, but instead of talking to birds and squirrels, he talks to ants. And those ants are not afraid to bite, sting, and swarm their enemies. Sorry, Adam, but you're outnumbered and out-anted. This is one battle you're not going to win. Chapter 6, Elektra vs. Nightwing. Ninjas and acrobats and birds. 
Oh my, get ready for a battle of agility and skill as we pit Elektra, the deadly assassin with a tragic past, against Nightwing, the former boy wonder turned badass vigilante. This is a matchup between two of the most acrobatic and skilled fighters in their respective universes. Elektra is a master of martial arts, a deadly assassin, and she's got those cool say-I things. She's also got a complicated past and a brooding personality, which, let's be honest, is kinda hot. Nightwing, however, is no slouch either. He's trained with Batman, for crying out loud. He's a master acrobat, a skilled fighter, and he's got all sorts of cool gadgets and gizmos. Plus, he's got that whole charming rogue thing going for him. This is a close one, but I'm giving the edge to Nightwing. He's just got more experience, more training, and let's be honest, he's got better hair. Sorry, Elektra, but you're going down. Chapter 7. Thor vs. Wonder Woman. God vs. Demigod. Who you got? Prepare for a clash of the titans as we pit Thor, the god of thunder, against Wonder Woman, the Amazonian princess with the strength of a thousand men and women. This is a battle between two of the most powerful heroes in their respective universes. Thor is, well, he's Thor. He's got the hammer, the lightning, the muscles, the hair. He's basically a walking, talking Norse god. What more do you need to know? Wonder Woman, however, is no slouch either. She's got super strength, speed, agility, and she can fly. She's also got that magic lasso that makes people tell the truth, which, let's be honest, is a pretty handy tool to have in your arsenal. This one's a tough one, but I'm giving the edge to Thor. He's just got too much raw power for Wonder Woman to handle. Sorry, Diana, but looks like you're going down to Asgard. Chapter 8, Hulk versus Atrocitus. Rage against the Red Lantern. Get ready for a battle of pure, unadulterated rage as we pit Hulk, the angriest hero on the planet, against Atrocitus, the Red Lantern fueled by rage. This is a matchup that could level entire cities. Hulk, as we all know, is basically a walking, talking earthquake. The angrier he gets, the stronger he gets, and let's just say he's not exactly known for his calm demeanor. Atrocitus, however, is fueled by rage. He's a Red Lantern, which means he's got all the powers of a Green Lantern, but with the added bonus of being really, really angry. This is a close one, folks. Both of these guys are incredibly strong and incredibly angry, but I'm giving the edge to Atrocitus. He's just got too much raw power, and his rage is even more potent than Hulk's. Sorry, Bruce, but you're going down. Chapter 9, Captain Marvel vs. Superman, The Battle for the Sky. Prepare for a battle of epic proportions as we pit Captain Marvel, the cosmically powered hero, against Superman, the Man of Steel. This is a battle that could determine the fate of the universe. Captain Marvel is one of the most powerful heroes in the Marvel Universe. She's got super strength, speed, flight, and she can shoot energy blasts from her hands. Plus, she's got that whole cosmic awareness thing, which is pretty handy. Superman, however, is, well, Superman, he's the man of steel. He's got it all, super strength, speed, flight, heat vision, x-ray vision, you name it. He's basically a god among men. This is a tough one, folks. Both of these heroes are incredibly powerful, but I'm giving the edge to Superman. He's just got a wider range of powers, and he's been a hero for much longer than Captain Marvel. Sorry, Carol, but you're going down. Chapter 10, Iron Man versus the Batman Brains, Brawn, and Billionaire Brawling. Get ready for a battle of wits and technology as we pit Iron Man, the Armored Avenger, against Batman, the Caped Crusader. This is a battle between two of the smartest and most resourceful heroes in their respective universes. Iron Man is a genius inventor with a suit of armor that can do pretty much anything. He's got repulsor rays, missiles, you name it. Plus, he's got that whole billionaire playboy philanthropist thing going for him. Batman, however, is Batman. He's the world's greatest detective, a master strategist, and he's got a utility belt full of gadgets that would make James Bond jealous. Plus, he's got that whole brooding vigilante thing going on. This is a close one, folks. Both of these heroes are incredibly intelligent and resourceful, but I'm giving the edge to Batman. He's just got more experience, more training, and let's be honest, he's Batman. Sorry, Tony, but you're going down. So there you have it, folks. Our epic showdown between Marvel and DC's finest. Who do you think would win these battles? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, this is all in good fun. Both Marvel and DC have amazing characters with incredible powers. It's all subjective, really. 
except for the part where Deadpool wins. That's just a fact. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more epic showdowns. We'll see you next time.